Silken Lauman, a name that has inspired a generation of sports lovers. The Olympic rower with a trademark smile is known for her physical strength. And tonight, she shares another side, the emotional one. Avery. Well, you know, Gord, when you say the word Silken Lauman, you hardly think of words like self-loathing and shame. But it's the way she does describe her early years in this book, which is actually out today. A story Silken says that she felt compelled to write, uh, consuming the past five years of her life. The pages in here, she says, have set her free. Most people know Silken Lauman as an Olympic golden girl. It's a real opportunity to get involved in the sport and really have that uh, ability to pursue it the embodiment of physical prowess, the epitome of drive and determination. A comeback story for the history books. The year 1992, the leg ripped to shreds in a rowing accident, doctors dashing all Olympic hopes, and yet just 10 weeks later, after multiple surgeries and punishing physio, there she was, a bronze at Barcelona. Come on over here, I'm gonna mic you up. Tonight, the story you didn't know. I have opened myself up, I have been, completely vulnerable. It's all here laid bare in her memoir, Unsinkable. I did have anorexia. When I was 17, I cut myself. Um, my mother was abusive. Th th those are things that I have lived with my whole life. Unflinching and intimate, Silken describes a helter-skelter home life with a mercurial mom. When I read about your brother keeping a knife under his pillow, about you and your sister having a package at the door ready in case you had to flee, these are not memories that anyone should have of their childhood. We were afraid. You know, my mom threatened to kill us. And she was in such a desperate place and so out of control. And there was this sense of anxiety and, and worry and, and fear that I think, well, certainly I carried with me. Emotionally battered, Silken found control through deprivation. I started developing an eating disorder probably in my early teens. It was about control, wanting to control something in my life because everything in my life felt so out of control. Controlling food and then releasing the pressure with a razor. I was sitting on the lawn and I had a razor blade in my hand and I just, I felt like I had to release, release the pressure. And I, I took the razor blade and I uh, cut across my wrist. Silken, the proud mom of a blended family filled with teens, says she was compelled to alter her two-dimensional image of Olympic heroine. I'm adding another really important dimension to, to maybe what the public image of who I am is. You know when you write a, an email and then you push send and you kind of think, is that any any part of you feeling that with this book? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh absolutely. I had to fully come into my life and you know have the public image actually catch up to who I really was as a person. But she admits some family members, especially her mom, might not be as ready. Is your mom devastated by this? It's hard to know exactly how my mom feels at any time. I've had discussions with my mom about the book. I don't know if she's read the book from cover to cover. I expect that some parts and I will be really hard for her, but she knows at least at some level uh, the damage that was, was done in those years. Silken says she's made peace with her mother and that the process of writing this book, of sharing the bumps and bruises of her life, have set her free. I'm not carrying this gunny sack, this sack of old hurts with me anymore. We all have this journey and part of that is going back and healing the damage, the bumps, the bruises of the past. And it takes, it takes courage to do that. All those little and, and big um, minefields that you had to walk around your whole life are no longer there. That, that's incredibly powerful. That is so rewarding. It's such a great place to be. And the great place that Silken Lauman will be at 7 yep. o'clock tonight will be signing at uh, Indigo at Manny Life Center. And as you were telling me earlier on today, that uh, Silken felt felt that it was impossible to move forward unless she dealt with the past. She's been a motivational speaker for many, many years. She retired in 1999 and she was standing in front of people and telling them about the mm. physical barriers that she overcame, particularly mm. in 1992, and felt she was always keeping this part of her life a secret. And that it was also holding her back um, from, from sort of growing and developing. Mm. And she talked about the secrets that families keep and don't have a chance to actually mm. grow as family members, mother and daughter relationships by keeping that in. A lot of emotions churning and, and that 
probably was a factor in her abilities as an athlete. And she accepts that the pain of her childhood probably made it a made her able to carry on and mm -hmm. push through because there was a focus with sport to yep. deal with those issues. So yeah, mm -hmm. she's she sees the, the benefits of both. Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Reach out to me on Twitter with any uh, story ideas. I'm at City Avery. The Inside Story runs every Tuesday and Thursday on City News. All segments are up on our website, citynews.ca.